Um, this is my uh, first video, really, I suppose, um, on this particular subject, Halloween. I don't make videos like this. I find them a bit creepy. But Halloween is a thing I adore. It's my favourite time of year. It's my favourite thing to do. So I thought, you know, why not make a video about my love of Halloween and my family, my kids, but they do. They don't like it as much as I do. So so it's mainly me, it, it is me, I, there's no denying. It's the 22nd of September. So most ordinary people, for most ordinary people, Halloween's not a thing right now. It's something far in the distance away from now. But for me, not so much. For me, it's something I've been thinking about since mm, probably, well, probably from the moment Halloween finished last year. <laughs> What am I gonna do next Halloween? Um, but also, like, by the time it gets to like March, I'm sort of making, start, started making ideas up of what I'm gonna do, where we're gonna go. So I'm big into it. And then by August time, I'm like, right, now something has to be done. Now I have to start thinking seriously about stuff. <laughs> and by the time it gets to September, that's when I've started buying my first few new Halloween stuff. My wife is like, you don't need any more stuff. We don't need no more stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we do. We always need more stuff. There is a difference though this year. If you're watching in the far flung future, the year is 2020. And coronavirus is happening. Pandemic, terrible, terrible thing. Since March, we've basically been in lockdown. The country's been in lockdown. Some restrictions have been eased and now those restrictions are slowly going back into place because guess what? It's coming back. So it looks as though Halloween, which is roughly five weeks away, probably won't happen the way it usually would. We aren't going to be having big parties because there's now what they call the rule of six. So you're only allowed six people together at one time and I'm a family of four. So that's two other people. Kids parties, kids are included in that. So the kids party I would usually throw, we usually have a huge adults party and a huge kids party. This year, it doesn't look like either of those things are gonna really happen, which is sad, really sad. And I am proper sort of not depressed about it. That's going too far, but I am pretty annoyed about it. So that means I've got to do things slightly differently this year. We I've not completely figured out how I'm going to do those things differently, but, one way I thought of doing it differently is to basically just go all out. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of Halloween decorations, always have done. Um, this year I thought we'll, we'll step it up. I'm gonna make some props. We're gonna really go to town. I'm gonna make things look more realistic if I can. Um, uh, we're gonna do what I would call a proper haunt. So I watch a lot of American videos because America does Halloween properly in my eyes. I watch a lot of American videos about um, haunters who do their Halloween displays. Some of them will start putting them up in like August time. My wife won't let me do that. I would, but I'm not allowed to. Um, so I probably won't probably start decorating outside until probably about the second week in October. She won't let me do that and do it any earlier than that. Um, and yeah, we're just going to sort of do what we can do. I've got some amazing, fun new props coming this year. And and I just wanted to quickly show some of the things I've already bought. They're only little things. It's only, like I say, the end of September. The bigger things haven't arrived yet. But I just thought I'd show you some, some of the things we've got going on so far. In September, the first prop that I always get down out of our attic is this guy. Um... We just call him Mr. Skeleton. He's clearly meant to be a pirate. If you know your Halloween props, he's the, um, he was from Costco. Oh. <laughs> he was from Costco. Uh, he's about four years old now. We got him when we first moved to this house. Um, he's, he's been like our, our Halloween, he's the thing our Halloween party's always built around basically. He's the best. One of the, my favourite props, really. I mean, what's not to like? He's, you know, he's mo uh, uh, pliable, his jaw moves, his arm moves. Only sad, sad news this year, um, his arm fell off. 
Very sad. So I'm going to have to properly repair that at some point and obviously tighten up Mr. Parrot here. Um, so <laughs> he's my first major prop that we always get out. We always get him out in September. The kids basically um, start asking when Mr. Skeleton can come out of the attic very early in the season. Um, so yeah, he's now just a permanent part of our furniture. Great. And then the other day I did start, I started buying a few things. One of the stores nearby to us, uh, B&M, literally a few things. It's not, this is nothing really. Uh, B&M is just a, a store uh, which does, basically is, it's a cheaper sort of branded store. Um, if you don't know what B&M is, but they always do a great range of Halloween. And then I've got my, uh, my little Grim Reaper here who I bring out every single year. Oh, there you go. Oh, lovely. There you go. Yeah, he was from Asda. Yeah, he was from Asda, six quid. I keep the labels on, that's sad, isn't it? Uh, this year I'm thinking of doing something kind of fun with him. Uh, I kind of want to make my own sort of flying ghost. Uh, I've seen a few how-tos online. Um, I'm gonna do mine slightly differently. It might work, it might not, but that will be interesting to see. Uh, the first couple of new things I bought this year, I bought this uh, ghostly apparition, apparition motion lights uh, projector. If I'm honest with you, I thought it was going to be better than it is. I've seen it lit up. I'll show it lit up in a little while. It literally, I thought it was going to move or something, or it was going to have a motion sensor so that it came on when people walked past it, but it doesn't. It's basically just that image that you see there of a ghost, ghost woman projected onto a door or a wall or, wall or whatever you want. Um, so that, not too disappointed. It's still great, for, well, well, I think it's great. But um, yeah, not quite as much as what I thought. Uh, this is one of those just basic projectors that you get. Uh, this one was a bit cheaper. Uh, projects lots of different pumpkin, ghost, bat, uh, cat sort of thing, and they just swirl around. Again, I'll show you that later. That's pretty cool, actually, not too bad at all. Uh, we got a new door cover because I like to cover the door. Um, this one features a like a wicked witch and a cauldron because a lot of the theme I go for is the witch theme. And when I start to bring more of my props downstairs, you'll see exactly what I mean in a later video. I got some new orange battery operated curtain lights. They're always cool. I think they'll look good outside. We got our little... Uh, just, I think it was a three pound pumpkin. Uh, it just lights up, it's pretty basic, nothing exciting. But, well, it's cool, kind of cool, nice little pumpkin. Uh, some string lights, micro lights, they're pretty awesome. Just the flash as well, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we got our big tombstone. There we go, he flashes, great, really cool. I like the, the look of that tombstone. It's quite, uh, quite a good looking tombstone. That's tombstones, stones go. <laughs> Got a cheap pack of smaller tombstones. What I think I wanna do this year with the tombstones is sort of um, try and make them look a little bit more realistic. You see lots of things online, people trying to make their tombstones look more real, more like tombstones and less like cheap things made out of styrofoam. I've got a load of tombstones in my collection upstairs as well. So that'd be kind of a fun project for me and the kids, I think. And the last thing I got was this um, hanging decoration set with schools and the haunted house and stuff. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, so all in all, this these few things, I think cost me about 30 pound. Um, that's nothing <laughs> compared to what I would usually spend. Um, so, so yeah. So yeah, me and uh, my skeleton friend here are getting ready for Halloween now, um, waiting for some bigger things to come. I'm quite excited to show you. Um, we've got some amazing things we're planning this Halloween, even though it's all a bit questionable exactly how much we'll be allowed to do and not. Um, but please, it'd be fun to see who joins us along for the ride, comes to see how our Halloween ends up looking, how our haunt ends up looking by the end of the season. And um, 
yeah, I hope you enjoy these next few weeks of me randomly chatting about Halloween stuff. Um, if you've got any comments or ideas about things that I could do for my horn that would be easy to do, fun to do, maybe things for kids to do, I'd be more than happy to hear your ideas. Um, and yeah, just hope you uh, hope you all have a good Halloween. And I hope this is the start of a good Halloween relationship. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye.